Delivery is the future of the cannabis industry, and it's here to stay. The legalization of cannabis really opened up the door for me to be, obviously, a legitimate cannabis businessman. You know, I have my own cannabis bank, I have, you know, cannabis lawyers, I have cannabis accountants. When I was a senior in high school back in 2011, I was arrested for, you know, minor possession of cannabis. I had plans to enroll into the U.S. Air Force, but those plans got derailed with my arrest. African Americans and Caucasians both use cannabis at similar rates, but the African American individual is four times more likely to be arrested than their Caucasian counterpart. Legalized cannabis back in 2016 here in Massachusetts. So before just driving around, if you get pulled over, you know, they smell a little bit of cannabis odor, you're getting your whole car charged, you're getting everything turned upside down. But now they made it so the odor from cannabis does not justify probable cause to do that search. So that's been huge. I wanted to get in the cannabis industry so bad. I took classes online to tailor make my resume. I went around to the conventions and passed out my resume to just book to anybody who would want to talk to me. And eventually one day I broke through. I got a job as a bartender at a local medical dispensary in my hometown. Started off doing that. It was the best job ever. Worked my way up to Director of Community Outreach. I was part of the first cohort of the Social Equity Program. I was in the entrepreneurship track. There's a lot of stuff that I learned when I started getting the cannabis, such as commercial real estate, such as architecture, such as all the wraparound services. I organized an expungement clinic where I gathered pro bono attorneys and I gave individuals the tools and the resources to remove nonviolent cannabis crimes from their criminal record. Back in November of 2021, my company Rolling Relief became the first black-owned, provisionally licensed delivery operator in Commonwealth, Massachusetts.